or we have done a little puja offering to Bhagavan Sri Ram Krishna in the prayer. Now, Swami Bharadananda Ji Maharaj will read out about a short bio about the Swami. Before that, let us all stand up and pray one minute in silence, please. I'll begin with Om and we'll end with Om. Take your seat. I request Swami Paradhananda Ji to come and read this. <coughs> so this is a article which was released by Bellarmont, uh, giving a brief uh, biography of Swami Atmastananda. So Swami Atmastananda Ji, 15th president of the Ramakrishna Mahat and Ramakrishna Mission passes away. So with deep sorrow, we announce the passing away of Swami Atmastananda Ji, president of Ramakrishna Mahat and Ramakrishna Mission, on Sunday, the 18th of June, 2017, at about 5.30 p.m. at Ramakrishna Mission Seva Petition Hospital in Calcutta. He was 98. He had been admitted to Seva Petition Hospital on 21st of February, 2015, for a treatment of old age ailments. The cremation took place at Bellarmont on Monday, 19th of June, 2017, at about 9.30 p.m. <coughs> so born on the Holy Buddha Purnima Day in May of 1919 at Sabajpur near Dhaka, he received mantra diksha from Swami Vignanandaji Maharaj, a monastic disciple of Sri Ramakrishna in 1938 and joined the Ramakrishna order at Bellarmont on the 3rd of January, 1941, at the age of 22 years. In 1945, Swami Virajanandaji Maharaj, the sixth president of the order, gave him brahmacharya vows, and in 1949, sannyasa vows, and the name Swami Atmastananda. After serving the order at Bellarmat and the branches at Deogar, the Vijapith, and Mayavati, at Vaida Ashrama, he got the opportunity to serve Swami Virajanandaji Maharaj, <coughs> the then president of the order, for a long time. He spent several years in his holy company in the solitude of Shamlata in the Himalayas. In 1952, he was posted to Ranchi TV Sanatorium branch as an assistant secretary. He worked hard to expand the sanatorium services in many ways. He was sent to Rangoon, Yangang, uh, Sebashrama as its secretary in 1958. He developed the Sebashrama Hospital and it soon became the best hospital of Burma, Myanmar, 
at that time. So when military rulers took over Rangoon Sevashrama, he returned to India in 1965. He was posted to Rajkot branch as its head in 1966. The beautiful temple of Shama Krishna at Rajkot Ashrama was built during his tenure on his initiative. He was elected a trustee of the Ramakrishna Mahat <coughs> and a member of the governing body of the Ramakrishna Mission in 1973. In 1975, he was appointed as Assistant General Secretary of the Twin Organizations. Under his stewardship as Relief Secretary, the Mott and Mission conducted massive relief and rehabilitation operations in various parts of India, Nepal and Bangladesh. He became the General Secretary of the Mott and Mission in 1992 and continued to be in that post for five years till 1997, when he became a vice president of the order. He was elected president of the Ramakrishna Mata Mission on the 3rd of December, 2007. Swami Admasta Nandaji traveled extensively in various parts of the country and visited many branches of the order and some unaffiliated centers. In 1998, he visited various places in the USA, Canada, Japan, and Singapore. He also went to Malaysia, Fiji, Sri Lanka, and Bangladesh at different times. In all those places, he spread the message of Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Sharda Devi, Swami Vivekananda, and Vedanta, and also gave Mantra Diksha to many spiritual seekers. He was one of the key persons to organize Pali Mongol integrated rural development activities in Kamarkapur and Jarambati, a youth training center at Sardapita at Belur, and many other social service programs. Usually, Ramakrishna mission consider Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna as the guru. And all the human gurus in, the, in different places, they are actually the mem uh, representative of that guru. As they always say, Sri Ramakrishna himself gave that uh, example, whatever is there in the tank, it is coming through different pipes and coming out through different taps. So you can say this tap, I got this, but the same water. So different taps. So the Guru is one, that Guru Maharaj is Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. This way we consider. And when a sannyasi passed away, so that particular light goes and merges with the great light Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. So sometimes some people, they don't understand, they think, why you are not mourning? The mourning, the people, you should. It's not, because we are already dead. When we take the sannyas, we give all those things. So we are already dead to the society. So sannyasis are not like that. Only do we give up the body, an Atman goes to the Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna, that we consider. I have some incidents that happened with Swami Atmastanandaji. We used to tell him the tiger Swami. It was so difficult to go before him. So, but at the same time, he was very considerate. So that we understood afterwards. I went to Chirapunji, the Meghalaya, that is in the northeastern part of India. I liked that area and the Swami Gokulanandaji. And when he said, what you are doing, spending time here and there, why don't you become the soldier of Swami Vivekananda? So that word, I liked. I told him, okay, I can become. So what I have to do? 
you have to leave your house and come and stay over here. I told her, I am already here, there is no problem. So I thought, I will stay there. I was there, I was very happy, the Swami used to like me. Then suddenly one day, uh, 75 I joined, at eight, eight months, nine months I was there. Suddenly one day in the small monastic meeting, Swami Gokulananda Ji Maharaj announced that he will go to Belur Mount. I was taken aback, why? Because Atmosthananda Ji wants. I never knew who is this Atmosthananda Ji. I told, but why? Well, no, he is the Assistant General Secretary and I tried my best to keep you over here, but he has heard about you and he wants you to believe more. I was both happy and at the same time excited. I mean, excited and also the morals. I am leaving the Swamis who were so close to me, Shantarupananda Ji and Gokulananda Ji. He was Swami in charge, Gokulananda Ji, Shantarupananda Ji, the second Swami. So they have a lot of fun. So you are very happy. But anyway, I came to Belur Mart. Belur Mart is unthinkable. When I entered into the dining hall, it's such a big dining hall. And I sat in a one line. Someone told you, sit over here. I sat. Then afterwards, I found they are serving vegetarian food in two, three lines, non-veg, indifferent. Then halfway, I told, but I want to eat that fish. So is it? Then from tomorrow, you should sit in that line. Then, okay. So it goes in that way. When afterwards I came out, I found a Swami calling me, hey, hey, stop, stop there, I'd like to talk to you. Then I stopped, the Swami came and told, why you are holding the glass in left hand? You are supposed to hold it in the right hand. The left hand is not. I told, but all through my life I am doing it. Your life is only this much. From now onwards, hold it in right hand not in left hand. Like this, you know, everywhere the training was going on, but I liked it. Swami Gahonananda Ji Maharaj told me, this is the rarest opportunity in your life. Utilize every moment practicing spirituality. And that was really one Swami who used to teach us, used to say, when the brahmacharis should go out, they should not look here and there. You must look at your toe and walk. So we used to practice in that way. Well, the happy days were going on. One day at Mustananda Ji, so I, I was coming back because time was very less. Again, I have to go taking my own plate. I have to go to the dining hall. So I was almost running. So suddenly someone today at Mustananda Ji wants to meet you. His office was in the old, our mission office, those who know. I entered, he drew the, uh, the his uh, table drawer and gave me a blade. I thought I have to give it to somebody. And said, to whom, Swamiji? So I said, go and stand before a mirror, you will understand for whom. <laughs> so actually, <laughs> I was growing beard and Ramakrishna Mission never ever want that external exhibition of the austerity that you are practicing. You must be very normal, but inside the austerity should go, but externally, you're not shaving and these and that, they don't like it. Some of the Swamis, they do, of course. They have grown the beard, one or two maybe. So like that, he used to talk. And then one day I was going for food, he also came out. Then while walking by the side of the temple, he was holding my hand like this. I used to practice on a physical exercise and in the college life to do the boxing and all. And I took the na uh, advanced national cadet course training in our time. So all this type of adventurous and boyish type of things I used to like. So when you hold my hand, as, as I was not knowing that way, so I was flexing my muscles. And then I told, oh, okay. So <laughs> nerves of iron and, and uh, still, nerves of still, that's good. And he was patting my back. Suddenly, he called some of the brahmacharis and told, you have to guard this place, that place. Why? They, you know, in those days, one movement was going on. The 
a group of political people, the extreme uh, way they used to behave, they were throwing bombs and creating problem. They told they may come because they are trying to attack the Balur Mart. So this is the general secretary. You have to stand over here to guard. I said, okay. I was very happy guarding Swami Gambirandaji, Gambirandaji inside. So I was standing, and those days I was reading books. So Swami Niranjananandaji's incident came into my mind. So I was standing like this very strongly if anybody comes. And then I collected a also strong stick. I was keeping that. Then Atmosanji came and he saw I'm standing only that way. Hey, what are you going to do with the stick? Then I told, if anybody is coming to attack Swami Gambirandaji, at least two I will kill and then I will fall. He said, OK, you are very courageous, but don't do that. It's not necessary. So one day he told me, again, when I was going for food, he told, develop Brahminic power, not Kshatriya power. You are no more Kshatriya. You are a Brahmana now. Develop Brahminic power. And what is that? He said, prayer and love. That is the Brahminic power. That you should develop. Kshatriya power is not necessary. Courage is all right. Confidence is all right. But pray and love. Pray and love. So each and every one, that was his training. And he used to, a very peculiar, I don't know, still now, is almost like a, another mystery to me. Whenever the new boys used to come, after the night food, he used to call us at about 9.30, half an hour, 9.30 to 10, he used to go and sit in his room. Some of our that friends, they are still here in America. He used to all sit over there. He'll be asking, hey, you say like this, you chant from here, you sing a song. But mostly, I noticed that the new boy, whenever he has come, he will call him very close to him. He'll, he used to sit on a chair and he used to sit on the floor. And he will ask us to put off all the lights. And when that boy will start singing, he will put on his table lamp, focusing on his face. And his big eyes, you have seen his photo, he'll be focused on that face as if reading or something like that. I felt like that. One young man came. We became very close friends. We were very happy, all of us. We think we were 15, 20 young boys were there. And our name was PPTC. Other Swamis used to make fun with us. PPTC, that is pre provisional Training Center. That boy came, he used to sing wonderful bhajans. He's a tall, fair, complex, good looking, very well behaved. And whenever he used to sing, tears used to roll down. And we used to feel, oh my God, we are so bad. Our karma is so bad, we can't cry. So, we tried so much, sometimes when we are praying to cry, but no, cry came, what to do? We used to say, he is a shaktik and we are, major portion is tamashik, a little bit of rajashik is coming. Like that we used to consider. That boy, when Swami asked him to sing Atmastanandaji, we were very happy. He never asked him to sing, but he knew that he sings well. That day he called him, asked him to see it and actually to sing, and when he was singing, he was uh, crying, tears were rolling down, we were so moved. And when this song was over, he told, go. All of us left. We thought that he will like the boy. Next day, our manager, the, another brahmachari came and told, Atmastanandaji asked you to pack up your things and go. Uh, you cannot stay here. Then we were all taken aback. How is it? He's such a nice boy. Then I took up courage after two days and I told Swamiji, he was so nice. Hmm, you will understand that afterwards. Then we came to know that actually he told that he came from Singapore, but he's from Bombay. And he was associated with the 
uh, cinema and movie and all that. He did something wrong and he was hiding. So how could he know all these things we do not know, but from then onwards, so we were afraid of him to go and sit like that. <laughs> so whenever he asked me to sing, I would let the light be on, not that focus, so that he should not read. So he used to love and he used to like me. So, and all you should be courageous, courageous like that, he used to say. Many a times, Atmastananda ji had so much faith on me. Once my guru, Srimad Swami Vireshwaranda ji, he went to the next center, Sarada Peet. It belongs to Ramakrishna Mission. Though name is Sarada Peet, it is a college. Vireshwaranda ji went there to give a talk. That day, Atmastananda ji, he was in charge of the PPTC and TC. That time I was in TC. Oh, one day, suddenly he called me and said, there is a car standing over there, and he said, go and sit. Uh, but where I'm going, when the, the person will tell you to get down, get down and enter into there, and you will know where you're going. His system was like that. So without knowing, after packing, I went, and I was posted to Advaita from Calcutta. So that gentleman was going to Calcutta, I was there. So like that, life started in Calcutta. And in the meantime, one, the big flood happened. We worked from Advaita Ashram itself. That was the first relief work from Advaita Ashram. Advaita Ashram is only for uh, publishing books and nothing else. But that was the first time we did the relief work. And that too, in a very, very difficult place. After doing all those relief work, it was Shasti day we came to Belur Mat. And I was very happy, thinking that Atmasthananda ji will be very happy that we have done that work. He was in charge of relief. And I came and I saw that he is standing like this. I came, offered Pranam and said, Swamiji, we have done relief work over there, there in the, and then today we have come, we will stay in Belur Mat and attain the Durga Puja. Then he called some other Swami, hey, come over here. This boy has come over here to attain Durga Puja. When his guru is giving away all the rice to cook food for those who are drowning over there, instead of telling Swamiji, I like to go to help them, he has come here to sit before Durga and meditate. Look at this boy, <laughs> what wrong I have done? <laughs> so, then he said, serve the poor people, they are dying leaving goddess, they're all crying in the villages. Then suddenly I saw a truck is coming full of that uh, food, kichuri, and it is going to some relief. Go and sit in that. The already some brahmacharins and other volunteers, they were sitting. The, you know the Indian trucks that is small, the, where the driver and two people can only sit, and at the back some people can sit, but not very much space was there. So they told us to go in the back and big, big drum full of kichuri was there. And in that kichuri, <laughs> in between the two drums I was holding the kichuri and I was careful, the hot kichuri should not, like that I go went. And then one place they stopped, then asked me to get down. I got down and they also brought down one big uh, the kichuri the place and gave me and the people will come and then distribute there was no one around all over there's only water i alone was standing with that uh, the spoon big spoon and the kichuri i said who is going to eat this kichuri <laughs> suddenly i found the villagers are coming by boat and then i gave but i was feeling so bad today is sattami and sattami was approaching Shasti is over. I couldn't see the face of Maa Durga. So when I was thinking in that way, the last man came. Swamiji, uh, is everything is over. I told almost over, little is left. You give it to me. So I gave it to him and he said, we are uh, having the Durga Puja in our place. There's a high land is there. There Durga Puja we are doing, the villagers. Do you like to come over there? Oh my God, sure, but you have to bring me back quickly. Then he said, I know when the truck will come back. 
Before that, I will drop you back. I went, I saw the Durga, then I chanted from Chandi. They also gave me the prasad. And when I came back, it was so happy time. So then when I came back, I met Atmastandaji. It was almost 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock. He was waiting. When we came, he said, where is that boy? I came from there. He told, are you thinking that you have suffered or you are thinking that you have enjoyed? I told, I have enjoyed. Good. Tomorrow also continue. <laughs> so, so, so like that, my Durga Puja was going on in that way. He was a that type of person and then afterwards he told that I will send you to uh, Andaman. No problem, very good asthma is there, you have to go and work and if you fail to construct that asthma and all that, then forget me. I am not sending money to bring you back, either you swim back or be there. <laughs> what type of condition is this? <laughs> Suppose I can't do, can't I come back? No. You have to go and be successful or die. I do not know. So that was another go do or die. <laughs> so what to do? So I went over there and then afterwards I invited him in the official way to inaugurate. He came, he saw and he told, okay, now I, I think you will be successful. All these memories are coming. Apparently, he was like that, but he was very soft and kind. He was a very hard task master, and he did always in a heroic way. This, our present uh, Prime Minister, Modi, he also came to him, he was very close to him, but the way he used to talk, the people who were came, the totally different way, and people were mesmerized. So not that he used to go and say like this, all the time he used to talk in a different way. People are very happy. He solved so many problems. Then different, that time, a very crucial time for the Ramakrishna mission. And the political, uh, the, in particularly in West Bengal, almost all the institutions were suffering because of the political uh, the misbehavior and the people they used to do. He used to say, Never give an inch, be there, and you have to fight. Never forget that you are the soldiers of Swami Vivekananda. Always used to say like that, soldiers of Swami Vivekananda. Some people will come, they will just say something and immediately you will come back, never. So he used to talk like that, this Atmastananda ji, I can uh, remember him. It was 1993. That one function happened, function that was held in Calcutta. It was a huge function. I was the last speaker, seven days continuous, remembering that parliamentary religion that was celebrated, and Swami Lokesh Ji Maharaj was the main organizer. So, 12 to 14,000 people in the Netaji Indoor Stadium. I never could imagine that I will speak over there. So I was the last speaker and everybody told you were the last speaker, so you must have give a good impression. Gaunanandu Ji Maharaj, he suggested, these are the things you must say, the, you are the last speaker. So I was thinking, why I have been last speaker? I could make in between, so the last speaker. Anyway, when I spoke by the blessings of Mother, it was wonderful. The 12,000 people, they clapped, they stood up and like that happened. I was very happy. Many other people were also congratulating. Then when I came to Atmustanandaji, Ji, he was sitting over there, I offered Pranam and he said, just because you sang one or two lines, people clap. Don't think that because of your lecture. <laughs> <laughs> I told, but I sang only the, at the end, but from the beginning they were giving the clap, they were clapping. Then he asked me, when you were going back to Andaman? I told, I am thinking that I will be here for four or five days, meeting the Swamis and other people. No, go back tomorrow. Change the ticket, go back tomorrow. Where you were staying? I told him, Golpa Ramakrishna Mission. No, go and stay in Adhoita 
Advaita Ashram, usually the devotees don't come. But in Golpurak, the devotees usually come. Other friends and other people say, what is this? See, you are the only person so imp you impress the, the people, and then suddenly he is asking to go back. I told him, no, he is actually helping me. As because the clappings and the, all this way, if you are going on telling, as a young mind naturally may feel that proudness. So he is helping me. I'll be going back, no problem. I went back, very happy. Atmasthanda ji helped me in that many ways, but his style was totally different. He told that at the back of our Andaman Ashram, there was a plot of land. You must purchase that. I want to see that that is. I told, okay. The Prabhananda ji was also there. Then after that, after a lot of you know, persuasion, you know, in India, you have to do so many things to impress people, and the particularly government officials. The chief secretary, he became like very close and friendly with me. He helped, I got that land, and that was a costly land. But the chief secretary told, one lakh, one rupee you must give. I told, one lakh? Is it a very big amount, but anyway, I rang to Belurmot and excitedly I told to Shami Atmastanda ji, Maharaj, they have agreed to sell that land to us, one lakh, one rupee. Oh, good. Keep them. I will give them. Where from, where from I will get the one lakh? I was not having any money. So he told, that I don't know. You have become in charge. That is your duty. You have to bring money. I told Maharaj, then I rang to Pravananda ji, he told, okay. You can take loan from Belurmat Fund. And you have to pay back, I think, 12% interest. And, oh my God, 12% <laughs> interest? So I told Maharaj, but you people told, well, no, no, we say like that, and it is the responsibility of the in charge, not ours. So then I was thinking, but anyway, by the grace of God, one elderly lady, Mrs. Kaitan, she promised to pay the one lakh, so I remembered that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera that land was purchased. Atmanasthananda ji's system was, he will push you in the water and you must have to learn the swimming. But that way, so many of us, we were very, very successful. Then we understood, lastly, you know, then I referred to that when Bireshwanda ji went to give a talk, he asked all the training center boys to go and attend that was the day he used to give the class. He told, today my class is, I am not going to take. You go and attend that lecture. Next time, I like to listen from you how it happened. In training center, it is very difficult to get uh, the loneliness. There are so many uh, brahmacharians all the time together. Even in one room, you are either two or three. So like this, you have to share all the time. So I thought, this is an opportunity. I should be completely alone. I will, com I will do the meditation. I did. Next day, he called his, all of us. He, used to, he was supposed to give the class. Then before starting the class, he told, all of you went to attend that uh, lecture, Virashwaranda ji? All say, yes. What he said there, first, second, third, the he actually meant, not actually meant, what he said. No one could tell that. The whole day we heard, not attentively, he was first line, second line, in the first line I was sitting. He was going, you, 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 you. When my turn came, he didn't ask me the next boy. So I told him, I'm safe. He's not asking me. <laughs> but actually, he was thinking that I will be successful. So he didn't ask me. I was looking at him with a so confident face. He thought that I know, so he didn't ask me. It was going on after all the brahmacharins. He told, now you tell what, what your guru said. <laughs> I told, my God. Then I stood up with folded hand and I told, Swamiji, I thought, uh, usually we don't get the loneliness. So yesterday I got the whole day, I meditated. Meditated? 
your guru was delivering that lecture you should go and listen and learn you do not know when he is going to pass away you must remember him that was the opportunity and you meditated then he turned to that another brahmachari he was the manager at lay manager don't give him food let him meditate for the whole night <laughs> so should not allow uh, him to go to the kitchen and do not give any food and asked me you should go sit in the, on the terrace meditate for the whole night tomorrow i will come to see that you were sitting there i told my god whole night one or two hours is all right but for the whole night that what to do so so i in the night i went it was 9 o'clock or so all they went for food then i was meditating you know that moment you are punished like that all the compassion comes so many swamis came to show me compassion they brought a cup of milk then the coffee or the tea and so <laughs> many other na 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 he asked not to eat but you were drinking you don't mind you can do i told him, no 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 if he comes to know about it it will be difficult for me maybe the another day it will be extended it is better than the whole night so i sat and you know that age the when i am meditating other brahmachari is thought that if today night he realize god then what will happen so the competition <laughs> when i opened my eyes i said what i am not alone 80 brahmachari is there sitting <laughs> all of us a whole night to meditate that was a wonderful time so i really miss that you know belur mart when he brought me in the beginning i was very feeling sad but the day first day morning before sunrise when he went to the belur mart and the mangal aarti almost 100 sadhus and brahmachari is so quiet even the swami who started the aarti he was controlled hand he was so controlled even the bell when it was ringing it was ringing but not disturbing the silence the gong they were playing it was not disturbing the silence and you could hear the flow of ganga even the air that is passing and i used to feel that i am sitting in the the company of the so many holy people it is so difficult to find and be in the company of one holy man as so many all over and whole hour the brahmachari is there sitting so whether you feel sleepy when you see the others are sitting like a stone image you also feel encouraged and wish to meditate over there mosquito was there but near never cared used to sit over there and when slowly the sun rises slowly wish to go and have the darshan of the mandir never talked with each other all are in the different mood days together in the evening time when the kandana bhava vandana i like that so much i never used to miss that particular moment this atmasthananda ji ma has told remember this particular prayer was composed by swami vivekananda who was nothing but sri ramakrishna himself so if you can chant that and pray that please you cut all the bondages and make me free you will be free so every day that khandana gives me that reminds me so these swamis they helped so much gaunanand ji told use every moment read and meditate read and meditate atmasnand ji told developed the brahmanic power love and prayer love and prayer slowly slowly they have all gone back to thakur but they are all the time within our heart to inspire now we are also becoming old and we are also slowly some day to go whoever comes to us we feel like telling these words thank you friends thank you for coming so we'll have one song he liked so much and he used to ask me to sing that was the first song i sang uh before that atmasthanand ji two lines i will sing thinking that atmasthanand ji is listening mon chalo 
निजो निकतने ओमोन चलो निजो निकतने शमशार विदेशी विदेशीर विशे शमशार विदेशे विदेशीर विशे भ्रमो कैनो अकारने दोस्तों डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द गाली इट सेज दैट ओ माय माइंड गो बैक टू योर ओन अबोर्ड व्हाई इन द समसार which is not your own place is a foreign land foreign place that you have come go back go back to your own place which is the place of god moon chalu nij niketane shamshar videshi videshi rveshe ब्रह्मो कैनो अकारने मून चलो निज निकेतने ओम शांति 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 Hari Om